My last YouTube Bitcoin price analysis and all crypto market price analysis let you know exactly what to look for and to expect sideways price action. It was a fairly long analysis and it actually is getting it very right. So what I would suggest for you to do is take the time, go ahead and check out the video that's popping up somewhere around here right now to see how I was able to predict that the importance of this line right here, what it is, I allow you, I show you how to put it on your chart. And I also show you a little bit more inner workings of other time frames. For example, we have a 175 day sideways channel that is of importance. We have a two year channel. The bigger blue one is a two year channel butting up with a more midterm time frame downward channel. Okay, trying to figure out all the ways that the biggest players in the market are looking at things. And this is the this is a an origin line here. And I went through how to draw this on your chart because this is by far uh, the most important straight line in crypto right now. And I show you how to do that in that video. So go ahead and check that out. And this video, it'll be a uh, it'll show you what to look for and when price will stop being boring. If you want to know what to look for, your trigger points. When will this stop just being tearfully boring? Go ahead and stay tuned. So with no further ado, put the pong down because we're going to go get some Bitcoin. You ready? All right. So if you have seen that video and all the reasons why I thought price would most likely go sideways and the trigger points for it, there's no way it's going to accelerate down unless it crosses here. There's no way it's going to accelerate up unless it crosses here. Neither of those have been crossed and price is doing what? It is still going sideways as expected. I urge you to check that out. Uh, if you wanted to see even more content on top of that, then I do have two private communities, one on YouTube. There's a blue join button down below to check out what that would be like. A 90 second video pops up telling you what you would uh, be able to explore there and the links to the Discord, even a more intimate uh, crypto price analysis experience in which you could share screens with me and talk to me uh, directly uh, through Discord in what's essentially a Zoom room, uh, then go ahead and check out that. The links to that are in the description section. So what we have going on right now, this channel right here that I'm waving around is much less important, but the whole idea here is this. Bitcoin is following this downside, I, I would call this a mid time frame or a short term time frame price channel, where two important lines cross this line here and this line here, price, touched it exactly when it crossed in a bullish fashion, then got above this point of control, stayed on top of this line, and the most important line in crypto right now, it stayed there with all higher lows and actually all higher highs since then. So in that last video, I mentioned it could come down here and wave on both sides or it could stay on top. Either way, there is no bullishness until you get above this area here, 63,950. I went full into detail and and neither trigger point has happened. So we had one trigger point here and one trigger point here. None have happened and price hasn't moved as expected. So is there anything new going on in crypto land? Is we have this bull market support band right here. And in that last video, I showed you how to set this up on your chart. I'm looking at a weekly time frame, the bull market support band, the weekly 10 uh, EMA with the weekly 21 EMA fill. So it's green because it's technically in a bullish posturing, but price is below it and it's approaching it in a bullish way. So no matter the type of resistance, whether it's a line or an EMA or an EMA channel or a river or a, or a brick wall, if Bitcoin goes below something and approaches it, if it approaches it like this, then it's probably going to get rejected because you form no support. If you go straight from lower low to higher high up into resistance, you're probably going to get rejected in one of a couple ways, either a, a straight up rejection or a failure rejection pattern than come down. But this, uh, but Bitcoin is approaching that bull market support and consequently the And consequently, it's approaching a 175 day point of control. So this is a sideways channel, 175 day of length. It is approaching 
both the bull market support band as resistance and that 175 day, which is slightly less important in a bullish fashion. When you go below resistance and you start consolidating with the, the lower highs don't matter. It's all about the lows. As long as you have higher lows like this, that is by far the most bullish way to approach and stay under or yeah, to approach a resistance. And that is precisely what Bitcoin's doing now. However, let's go alt I. So you can see here that the inverse chart looks like it wants to potentially go down. This doesn't look bullish, right? So because it's in inverse, that means it, it is bullish. So go back to inverse, boom. This is a bullish shape preparing and coiling up. I do not see any intention of big money to sell. There's, there is not much intention in here to sell at all, particularly because we could see the way price reacted to so many key levels here, the bottom of a two-year channel, the, the, the bottom of the point of control of about 175 day channel, it just perfectly wicked it and closed candles. There's no intention to sell here. So my eyesights are not down. However, could that change quickly? Yes. If price simply goes below this uh, two, two year channel line, then things start to change. But if it just wicks below, then closes right back on, you still have upward sights. So you'd have to go below this two year line and get rejected and then begin curling down. Then, then it's okay to look down and have downward uh, price action on your site. But really not until then. There, There's no... <laughs> in addition to having all higher higher lows here coiling up under resistance i mean this looks like it's preparing every intention of big money right now appears to be bullish appears to be uh wanting to buy not necessarily looking for explosion but the next move up looks like it's going to hit where those two lines cross and that should be around 69k close to 69k so 69k as of now because of all those things we have all higher lows uh, Bitcoin has performed bullishly on top of resistant uh, on top of support. It is approaching resistance in a bullish bullish fashion. So we're only looking up right now until we get a trigger point to give us reason to look down. There's no reason to look down right now. If you think the stock market can pull down Bitcoin, well, we got news on that too. Check this out. Yes, Bitcoin from October, late October of 2023, right here, Bitcoin and all of crypto went up the exact same days, the exact same week. So it's obvious that all of crypto is following the stock market to some degree. So I've been asked the questions, hey, you know, like there's some type of rising wedge or, you know, something going on here. Uh, like, you know, people are trying to draw shapes like this. Uh-uh. Let me show you why that does, is not statistically likely to work out at all, at all. Watch and why this is unlikely to support Bitcoin downside by dragging Bitcoin down. Check just simple 45 degree angles from tops. Watch. Actually, let's uh, do something like this. So let's make this same angle, something like this. Okay, so it's the same angle. See how it perfectly hits all three of these wicks or nearly perfectly? So I'll take that and go here. Now watch. On everything that could have been considered a top. Here, let's make this a little fatter like that. And let's go over here, make it like this. Just do the same thing. There you go. Same shape. Roughly a 45 degree angle. Make it connect these two wicks. Roughly, actually, I'll just copy paste this guy. Probably the same angle. All right, and then we'll go, that's probably enough for now. So every time there looks like a top, you are not going up until you pass a 45 degree angle because it is your lower high target. So as we, so let's go back in time here. And the moment you're going up per this local high, 
Doesn't matter if you go all the way. You're not going up until you get above there, even if it's way later or sooner. So let's play this out on times 10 speed. So here you can tell, yes, that's a big rally, but what? You're below there. So you're actually just falling with style, Toy Story wise. This rally was huge, but it's way below that target. So you're actually still going down. You're still going down despite that rally right there. Still going down, still going down, still going down because you're below it. Now you're going up. Now you're going up again. Just watch how this works. It's it, it's like literally a, every time. Still going down. Still going down. Now you're going up. Now watch what just that. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not there yet. Going up. Is that a top? Is that a top? Is that a top? Maybe so. Maybe so. <gasps> nope. And now we're going up. Is that a top? Is that a top? Is that a top? <gasps> now we're going up. Like it got above it. It works almost every time. Like I honestly, I don't see a single case where it doesn't work in this. Like it's just the way it works. It's every single flipping time. 45 degree angles might work better in stocks than it does in crypto, but it works like a freaking charm in crypto. So there is no reason to be looking down here. If somebody throws you a ball of some sort, where whether it's an American football or a baseball or something hard at your face. Are you going to look this way to catch it? No, you're going to be looking in the direction of importance that matters. What direction matters here? Up. So I wouldn't even look down until it goes below what? That 45 degree angle. Then, really, you're only looking down till this origin line here because it'll probably bounce and get back over that on a second try. But I wouldn't even look towards that white line until it's below there. Then you know what the next target is. But as of now, I, I really, I strongly feel that there's almost no reason to look down on stocks. Absolutely no reason, as I just, as I just showed you. So therefore, the stock market is supporting the bullish nature in this area right here. So all of this, that's not super bullish. But the way it is a, pro, uh, actually, the wrong chart. The way that this is approaching is bullish, and it is directly supported by stocks. So, however, we are below the bull market support band. Right here. So there is technically a little bit more reason on bigger time frames on Bitcoin to potentially look down. However, this small shape, this micro time frame shape is supported and it could change the midterm time frame uh, mentality of Bitcoin on what is Bitcoin going to do over the next month or two. Well, right now, yeah, it, it could be down, but it's bullishly ready to strike and change that uh, uh, the probabilities of what's going to happen over the next month or two. So the timeframes on Bitcoin matter right now, the bigger time frames say, yeah, we can absolutely. It's OK to look down, even though it's not supported uh, by the stocks, because we I mean, this is the bull market support band. It's getting ready to flip red. We just made a lower high and a lower low to that high and that low. And it's probably going to get rejected, come down. That's actually fair on bigger time frames like the weekly. But if we zoom into this little area here, this little area says, shoot, man, I am approaching that resistance and a 170 a day uh, point of control of a channel in the most bullish way possible. So, yes, the time frames above me. Yeah, there's reason to look down. But as of now on the small time frames, uh -uh, I, I, I think I'm going to go hit 69K, 69K to 70. So if, if price cannot get over this bull market support band, which in the video to which I pointed earlier with the little tag, it shows you how to set that up on the four-hour chart if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, the uh, small-term time frame, this shape will not break down and agree with the bigger time frames, which give a reason to look down. It doesn't agree with that until it gets rejected from here and then takes out at least this low right here, 57.7 then this shape will begin agreeing with the bigger time frames that, hey, we're under that channel and it's getting ready to turn red. We should be prepared for downside. But right now it disagrees and its disagreement, if it plays out, it will change the outlook 
of what's happening on the next time frame up. So this small time is prepared to strike and change the next time frames up. And all eyes on all all eyes on the bull market support band and how price reacts to it with its higher lows. Really, it could come down here and just do it all over again. So as long as it so the forty five degree angle, something in that thirty minute video which I was pointing you to, I said, hey, one of the most important things you can draw on your chart, Bitcoin chart. Guess what? It's a forty five degree angle, but from the downside, it works both ways. Look, this right here. I explained the huge importance of it's not going, it's not truly going down until it goes below that line. And so right now that this, this uh, 45 degree angle is getting ready to meet with an origin line. So if it goes below both of them, then it's done. And we're probably going to see like 38 to 45 K if that were to happen. And the, the pinnacle of this happens pretty darn soon. I mean, that's in like four or five days. However, what could happen then is we get some fake out, we go above and then, and then just turn this into a bigger triangle then that's the only bad thing about triangles is they can get bigger. Um, and that is what we got for Bitcoin analysis. So in summary, the bull market support band up here, uh, show you how to do that in the previous uh, analysis. Plus this here, there's no upside acceleration until we're above there, uh, 63,950. And there's no downside acceleration until we're below that 45 degree angle because it works the same as the 45 degree angles to the upside. You are probably going down once you go below that, just as you are probably going up if you go above a, a descending 45 degree angle from a, from a high. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit like, subscribe if you have not yet. Hit that, what is it called? The alert bell, the alert bell uh, to get alerts on when I make videos so you can stay in tune. With that said, you just got Timified Worldwide. Peace.